Hey, so I've just turned up in this area. It's about two hours before sunset and I'm hoping to see deer and foxes. I know there are baby deer here. Maybe not baby deer, small deer. But I've got some new gear, so let me get out and show you. So here it is. This is my Nikon Z6. I just got it today and I actually mainly picked it up for video because it's one of the best mirrorless cameras for video. So I got it with the FTZ adapter and I've actually mounted my 500PF on it. I didn't really buy this with the intention of shooting wildlife. I still really like my D850 and I want to continue using it. But I want to at least try it out and see how it is. I have some reservations about it, like with the focusing and the viewfinder. But, um, you know, I'll try it out, give it a chance, see how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to go find Sue because she is already here and she needs a memory card and she needs some water so let's go find her and then maybe we'll see some wildlife so using the z6 for photography i guess initially uh, i am facing a few frustrations it's nice and small and light but then that comes with a downside like my finger tends to keep slipping off the bottom of the grip because the grip isn't as big as it is on my dslr and then there are other things like when you bring the viewfinder up to your eye, it takes like half a second to kick in and actually turn on so that you can see what you're even focusing on. Um, the focus is a bit slower. Not much, it's still fine. I just It just feels a little bit more laggy than on my DSLR, so when you sort of combine those two things, it just doesn't feel as responsive. I don't feel like I can quickly get it up to my eye and get a shot in the same way as I can with my D850. I think a big part of it is also I'm just new to this camera and it kind of, because it's Nikon, it feels familiar but it feels alien at the same time and I think that's kind of why it's a bit frustrating in a way because I feel like it should behave exactly like my D850 but there are a few things that I'm going to have to get used to. Like not, not being able to have two focus modes set up at the same time is really annoying actually because it means that I have to take an extra step to switch focus mode sometimes so right now I'm just always using single point focus I know mirrorless is the future I'm just I'm just not convinced that it's quite there yet anyway um, I'm nearly at where Sue is I think so let's go and it's starting to rain but it's not all bad for example I picked up the 24 to 70 f 2.8 s lens and that lens is amazing, it's so sharp, the build quality just feels so much nicer, like I've got the 24-70 f2.8 E lens, like the latest one from the DSLR line, and it's, you know, their pro lens. I've always found the build quality is a bit, eh, like when you adjust the focus ring, the image moves up and down a bit, like there's that much play in the, in the tolerance in the parts. And the sharpness, you know, it's sharp, but it's not super sharp at f2.8. I even went through two of those lenses to get a sharp one. Um, whereas this S lens is really sharp. I'm really impressed with it. And it focuses like lightning fast. Not as fast as the um, DSLR lens, maybe. Not quite as fast, but it does still have some nice snap to it. So I think for landscapes and for video, that lens is really going to help me out. Um, so it's not all bad. I, I'm, I feel like wildlife photography is really demanding. It's kind of up there with like sports photography and stuff where you need the AF to be fast and precise. And if anything slows you down, then it's just like not quite good enough. Um, and I guess I'm feeling a little bit like that with the Z6 at the moment for wildlife. But I'm still new to it. I may not have worked out all the kinks yet. So I'm gonna keep trying. I like the industrial design, it's like, it is a nice looking camera, it's really thin, and the weight is certainly nice in comparison to my D850. I can definitely notice when I'm carrying it around with this lens that it's uh, way lighter on my hip. And while I'm being cynical, you know, people always say like, oh, why do you use music in your videos? You should just like, let the natural sound of nature be in them. Well. The thing is, it's really hard to record the natural sound of nature, and if you do, you just get tons of background noise. 
like right now you can probably hear there's a plane flying over there's an airport nearby and a plane is pretty much taking off there's also a road but there are some nice crickets around they're making a lot of noise So one of the things I like about my D850 is the focusing points are really small and you can pick on like a flower in the frame and you can focus exactly on it and it'll be sharp. You can also focus on like the eye of, an, of a subject. And I guess with the Z6, maybe I just haven't found the right focus mode yet, but I'm finding that the focus point is quite big and when I try to focus on something and then zoom in, it's not actually focused on the thing I thought I was focusing on, it's focused on something to the side of it or behind it so that's pretty annoying and I know you can zoom in and then manually focus to make sure that you're focused on the thing that you want to focus on but when you zoom in the viewfinder gets like really laggy like the frame rate drops from the nice smooth 120 fps or whatever down to 60 30 I don't know it gets a lot slower so that's pretty frustrating hey I got lost. Oh. <laughs> right. This meadow is quite an amazing place. It's so diverse. Um, I haven't been here in a while and it's so overgrown now. There are loads of different types of plants here. And that's why I got lost because <laughs> I couldn't see the bridge where I was supposed to go. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm just following Sue now and we're gonna go to this certain fence where we might see the deer or some foxes. All right, so behind me, this is the fence that I was talking about. We just call it the fence and basically around the edge of that fence is a little open area and there are quite often foxes and deer down there if you go around and have a look. I did just see a fox around the corner, I got some shots of it. The Nikon Z6 seemed to focus on it completely fine. Um, can you hear that noise? It's like we're near an airport and there's like this constant like <laughs> This is why I put music in my videos, because I can't just use natural sound, because natural sound doesn't really exist, it's just the real world is full of like horrible sound. I'll have to look at the shots when I get home on my computer, but they look pretty sharp. I am definitely missing the resolution compared to my D850, but remember I bought the Z6 mainly for video and not to replace the D850, but this is one of our foxes that we know, um, well, Sue named it Half-Eye, and you'll see why when you see the pictures. So yeah, the light is kind of low. I was at a lowest shot speed, 1 125th of a second, and wide open at f5.6 on my 500mm lens, and the ISO was, let me just check, I am liking how quiet the shutter is on the Z6. It's because there's no mirror, all you hear is the shutter sound and it's nice and quiet and refined. That wasn't even using the silent shutter, that's just the standard shutter sound on this camera. So yeah, I like that. It's definitely quieter than the D850. So I've got to talk about another problem I'm having with the Z6, and that is when you bring it up to your eye, you bring the viewfinder up to your eye, obviously on a DSLR you just see through the viewfinder and you see the scene and you can immediately like track the object and focus and get the shot. Whereas with the Z6, when you hold it up to your eye you just see black and then maybe after like a quarter, half a second the viewfinder turns on. Um, but sometimes it doesn't even turn on, I think it's like when the camera times out. 
so you have to half press the shutter and then wait like half a second for it to turn on so yeah I'm still getting used to it but it's not really great when I told Sue that she just said why don't you just leave the viewfinder on all the time and I thought hmm it's gonna waste the battery I think I just need to get used to half pressing the shutter as I bring it up to my eye maybe that'll work Right, and I know someone will ask if I don't say, so yes, I have updated the firmware to 2.01, which gives the IAF. Um, I tested it out, it works pretty well. Well, I haven't tested it properly, I've only slightly tested it. But to be honest, I don't really like how to use IAF, you have to be in the kind of auto focus, like the auto area focus mode because I really like my either my single point AF or like a little area in the center like group area AF so I wish there was a way that you could have both modes at the same time yeah I, I don't really know what to say I, I know a lot of people are going to hate that I'm saying this but mirrorless cameras are not that great for wildlife photography not yet I'm sure they will be soon but I think right now DSLRs still just have the edge I like the ergonomics better as well, I feel like I can hold it steadier with the D850, even though it's a heavier camera, it just has a bigger grip, feels a bit more substantial. Right, so it's about, mm, the sun's been set for about 15-20 minutes, it's getting really dark now, it's about 9 o'clock, and I'm starting to head back. I did see a fox three times um, back there but it was, they were all fleeting. Um, I actually tried to film it, I was in video mode and I had the focus set to AFC so I could manually focus and then if I, if I ever wanted to focus with autofocus I could just hit, hit AF on and it would focus. But the trouble is I'm finding when it's dark the camera basically just refuses to focus, like it doesn't even try, it just sits there and does nothing. It doesn't flash or give you a warning or anything it literally just does nothing but if I try to focus on some brighter areas then it focused fine so that was a little bit frustrating and it caused me to miss a shot because I was I kept trying to auto focus and nothing was happening and then by the time I actually went to manual focus the fox was gone but we are talking about after sunset very low light in deep shade with an f5.6 lens so I suppose it's to be expected all right, it's getting extremely, extremely dark now. I've actually switched to the Nikon Z6 with the 24-70 f2.8 S lens just to get a bit more light because the Osmo Pocket wasn't doing, giving me any kind of good image. But yeah, I hope this video didn't come across as overwhelmingly negative. I know there are a lot of people who love using the Z6 for wildlife photography and get great results with it. So if that's you, keep using it, keep enjoying it. I just think for me it sort of reaffirmed to me a bit how much I like the Nikon D850 and I do plan to keep using that for most of my wildlife shooting. So with that, thanks very much for watching, like this video if you liked it, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.